Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of How To Tuesdays, NAC Training's weekly tutorial video series. This one is how to use color, or if you prefer to pronounce it differently, how to use cooler. The website we're referring to in today's session is cooler.adobe.com, K U L E R.adobe.com. The reason I'm doing this video is because often we find ourselves needing to pick a color scheme or at least to be able to speak confidently about our artistic sensibilities, uh, but unfortunately we find ourselves doing so without a lot of training and never really feeling completely confident in the product that we create. So if you're trying to create a theme or a color scheme of some kind, color.adobe.com is a very powerful tool for accomplishing just that. This is the website for color.adobe.com, and the whole concept here is that they want to take the difficulty out of picking a color scheme that will complement each other very nicely. In order to create a new color scheme, we have three different methods of creation. The first of those is to actually run a search through the color schemes that were created by the community already. As you can see, I'm looking at a color scheme called Ventana Azul, and if I wanted to simply look at those colors, I could use the button here in the middle in order to look at those colors and their particular choices. Alternatively, if I did not want the first color scheme that was at the top of my screen, I could go into the community and run a search for a particular type of color scheme. Using the search box on the left, for example, I might type in the term winter and hit enter. And a variety of different color schemes that other people invented that were based off of this winter idea would come up. I could find a particular winter color scheme, select it, and then again use this button in order to look at what that color scheme was composed of. Your other alternative for creating a brand new color scheme is to either choose to create a color scheme based off of a single color or create a color scheme based off of an image. As you can see on the left, if I click on from an image, I can use either the flower image that shows up on my screen or any image that I can find. As an example here, I might click on upload, find a photograph on my computer somewhere, And if I wanted to, for example, use this lighthouse picture, by choosing a picture of a lighthouse, I'm creating something that has a very beachy aesthetic. And you can see those pale blues, those oranges and browns that a beach scene gives me. Not only can I upload this picture, but I can also choose these different varieties on the same color scheme. A bright color scheme, a muted color scheme, a deep, darker color scheme, for example. And so uploading a picture is a very easy way of creating a color scheme that's very pleasant and one that reminds you of a particular feel because it comes directly from a photograph of that particular type of setting. Another alternative is to click on from a color. When you choose from a color, it allows you to pick at first from the color wheel whatever color you like. I might pick this pale blue color, for example. And then all you have to do is choose the rule for how the other colors complement the first one. By choosing a particular variety of this color scheme, I'm able to create a full-fledged color scheme with multiple shades, and then simply use this to insert into whatever element I want. Now, in scrolling to the bottom of the screen, I see that each color that I look at has a variety of different number values, and this can be uh, fairly confusing for people, so I want to go ahead and take some of the difficulty out of this. There are two fundamental ways of using color. One of them is by printing it onto a page, and another is by showing it either on a monitor or by a projector. Now, in those two scenarios, we basically choose between one of two different varieties, either RGB or CMYK. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and so we're choosing a color based off of its percentages of each of those values. By contrast, when we decide to show something on the monitor or project it on a screen, 
we're going to choose a combination of colors that are composed of red, green, and blue values. Regardless of whether you use the CMYK numbers or, or the RGB numbers, you're still given the same color. It's just re represented in different modes. As you can see from this illustration, RGB and hex are the same idea. They both use percentages of red, green, and blue, but if you use RGB, the values go from 0 to 255, where 0 is no red, or no green, or no blue, and 255 is all the red, all the green, or all the blue we can possibly muster. And by contrast, hex goes from 0, 0, no red, no green, or no blue, to FF, which is as much red, green, or blue as we can possibly get. All we do then is go to whatever system is relevant to us. In this particular instance, in this particular instance, we can go into Microsoft PowerPoint, take these RGB number values, simply put them into PowerPoint, and get the same exact color to come out. The bottom line is very simple. Even though we feel that as business people we often don't have enough time or energy or background to be able to pick a nice color scheme. Using a tool like color.adobe.com allows you to choose to start from a base color or start from an image and create a very pleasant color scheme using no more than just simple math and the website.